Hey boo, in this video I'm gonna show you how I created a $2 dupe of the famous Miel Organics Rosemary and Mint Hair and Scalp Oil. Okay, so my DIY oil is just as good, it's just as natural, and it has the same benefits as the Miel Oil. Okay, so this will definitely save you some coins, so keep on watching if you'd like to see the recipe. So the reason why I'm making this video is because this oil is either one, sold out in every store, or two, the price increased because it became extremely popular worldwide. So I was finally able to get my hands on one for almost 20 euros, girl, that's a lot of money, <laughs> which is about $22. Um, so that's why I wanted to come up with a cheaper version, but not less effective of this oil, right? So because this is a rosemary and mint hair and scalp oil, the main ingredients are obviously fresh rosemary and mint. Um, I'm going to infuse these in several oils later, um, but all of the ingredients are available on Amazon or in your local grocery store, but the meal oil has a ton of ingredients in it and I chose a few of the main ingredients to make my own DIY version. And the first main ingredient is soybean oil and this oil is packed with vitamin E, it's essential for maintaining a healthy scalp and I'm going to add 50 milliliters of that. Next up is sweet almond oil and this oil can make your hair stronger and less prone to split ends which is great for length retention and by the way every oil I add will be 50 milliliters each but you can of course eyeball this process right. Um, I'm also adding castor oil which increases blood flow to the scalp and it boosts hair growth and it has antibacterial and antifungal properties. And now one of my favorites is jojoba oil because of its beautiful rich golden color. It's rich in vitamins and minerals that nourish hair and it can prevent hair loss and promote hair thickness. I'm also adding grapeseed oil and this oil contains both antioxidants and vitamin E and it has the potential to aid in hair growth and build strength in your hair strands. So next I'm adding some fractionated coconut and this is the liquid form of coconut oil. This is not the butter, it's non-comedogenic which means it won't clog the pores or leave your skin or hair oily and it's very effective at moisturizing and softening your hair. And lastly I'm adding rice bran oil and this oil repairs dryness, damage and brittleness and it has an abundance of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids vitamin e and k which is all amazing and this helps to repair damaged trans frizz and flyaways as well so this is my oil concoction okay i'm going to give it a quick stir and now i'm going to add my herbs right so this is my rosemary i bought this on amazon these are dried freeze-dried rosemary flakes and many people have reported amazing results using rosemary oil, rosemary essential oil, or rosemary infused oil on their hair and scalp. Um, they, they found that their hair grows so much more thicker, healthier, stronger, and rosemary actually has a lot of benefits. It is anti-inflammatory, it promotes nerve growth, which is actually very interesting, and it improves blood circulation. And the same goes for peppermint. This is some peppermint tea that I bought off Amazon, and peppermint is believed to be very beneficial to natural hair as well, and your scalp, oh my gosh, because this contains menthol, and this increases blood flow into your hair follicles, and it causes this cooling, tingling effect, which feels amaz amazing and refreshing. So yeah, this all helps in growing healthy hair. These are not the only benefits, by the way, of all these herbs and oils and all these things. There are so many more benefits, but I'm not just listing them all because I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long. And by the way, I'm just eyeballing this process on how much mint and rosemary I put in my oil mixture. I just make sure there's a good amount into my oils because I am going to infuse this in Aubameri. So I'm going to do the hot process, but you can also let this sit for a few days and let it infuse naturally so you don't use heat and I don't know about you but I want my oil now sis <laughs> so I'm gonna use this fast method and it's also effective so 
I don't see the point of waiting several days, but that's just my preference, okay? So I'm going to put my beaker into a pot of boiling water, and I'm going to let this infuse for like 30 to 45 minutes maximum, and the pot is on like a low heat, it's not a high heat, so it can just like infuse slowly but surely. And this is how my mixture looks after like 40 minutes and you can see the color turned green which is from the mint oh my gosh and the rosemary girl my house smells amazing it smells amazing like mint and hints of rosemary it smells like an amazing herbal tea and i'm going to strain my mixture with this coffee filter you can use a cheesecloth you can use a paper cloth if you don't have any of these but i definitely recommend a coffee filter this is like the least messy process and it will literally not let anything through so you have an amazing green clear oil with nothing no particles no small particles in it or whatever so yeah this is an amazing method for if you want to strain like herbs like you know ayurvedic herbs or hibiscus powder aloe vera powder or anything like that it will just not let anything through which is amazing that's why i love um, infusing and then straining it with a coffee filter so now that my mixture is cooled off for a bit, I'm going to add my essential oils. I'm just going to add some lavender essential oils and I'm going to add about five drops of this. I'm also adding my tea tree essential oils, this for some extra tingly and cooling effect on my scalp, right? I love me some tea tree. And lastly, I'm adding some lemongrass essential oils. So these are all ingredients from the ingredient list of the male organics oil. Like I'm not making this up or anything. This is what they there's actually in it, in that oil, right? And this is the end result. So we are all done formulating this oil. So now it's time to bottle it up and I have some glass dropper bottles left so I was planning to sell my own hair oils but then I don't know my plans got delayed for a bit but you know I'm still using those dropper bottles for myself and you know honestly girl these are 100 milliliter bottles right so this is double the size of a male organics rosemary and mint oil which is incredible because I did the math for you guys and if you use those seven different oils that I used in my DIY mixture, then you'll get 35 bottles out of this. 3,500 milliliter bottles, which is the same as 70 Miel Organics hair oil bottles, <laughs> which is crazy, right? Okay, I gotta be honest. Your initial investment would be about $50 if you purchase all of these oils that I'm using. But I had most of these oils at my own home, like castor oil, coconut oil. You know, I have these things at my home. So I didn't need to go out and buy them. But girl, honestly, if you have 35 bottles, that will be like, I did the math, $1.4 each, like a less than $2 for a bottle. And the remaining bottles, you can go to your friends, go to your family and sell them for like $10. And then you have all your money back and more, sis. Get your coins, get your coins. You can sell this oil, okay, okay. <laughs> So here's just me using my oil. I use it on my scalp as a pre-poo treatment because, you know, it has this tingling effect and I massage my scalp. Um, it's It feels amazing. You know, the peppermint, you really feel it. And the, the tea tree oil is just amazing, right? Um, it's very effective. It's just as effective as the, the store version. You know, I suffer from postpartum shedding, so I'm just like massaging my edges so I can circulate the blood flow in my edges and my hairline because I need it, okay? But what you also can do is use this as a sealant. You know, if, you, if you're if you gonna do a protective style like I'm doing here, I'm just putting my hair in braids and Put all your products on your hair, like your leave-in, your cream, and then seal everything up with this super healthy DIY rosemary mint oil, and then just braid your hair or twist your hair or whatever you wanna do, right? And it will leave your hair super shiny, super healthy. Girl, I'm telling you, you gotta try this DIY. So let me know in the comment section what you think of this recipe, and let me know if you wanna try it, okay? Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.